In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this awesome curtain text effect right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and create a brand new black video. So we'll go to new item and black video. Press OK on this and then we'll go into effects and we're going to search for tint. So T I. NT is tint. Of course though, we need to drop our black video onto our composition. So we'll drag that black video onto our composition, go back to effects and we'll drag that tint onto our black video. Now, if we go over into our effects controls panel, just on the left here, you can see we've got tint underneath opacity and time remapping. We'll go into this, select matte black to select the black box and select a color of your choice. So we'll select a yellow orange in this example. And then from here, you just want to go up into motion. You want to uncheck this box. So deselect uniform scale. We'll pull the height down to around 40%. And then we'll pull the width down to around 80 pixels. That would do. So from here, we now want to go ahead and create our text. So we'll go file, new, legacy title we'll press that option select ok and in the legacy title window we just want to go ahead and create our text and we want this to fit within this yellow bar so select this t icon here select anywhere on the monitor and we just want to type out your sentence your phrase your branding just type out whatever you want here so once you've typed out your text you now just want to go ahead and customize the look of your text so I'm going to make sure this is white. We'll change the font of this text. I'm going to add some weight to this text. We'll increase the size of this by increasing the font. And then we'll just center this up in the very middle. So that would do. Now, when you're happy with your text, you just want to press the red X to exit the legacy title window. Go back to your project tab and we'll drag the title onto our timeline. Now, from here, it's really important that the yellow bar is sitting on video layer two and the text is sitting on video layer one. So if we just zoom in a touch, we'll push the black video up to two and then we'll extend the duration of one so that one is sitting on video layer one and our black video is sitting on video layer two. Now from here, we need to go ahead and we need to create a mask. So what we're gonna do is go into opacity. We're going to select the free draw bezier tool this is a pen tool if you know this from After Effects or Photoshop. And we're just going to draw a rectangle around that yellow block. So we've got this really wide rectangle sitting around our yellow block. And we're going to create a brand new keyframe on Mask Path. Now we'll move to the very beginning. So we'll pull the cursor back to the beginning, select Mask Path. And we're going to select those two points on the right. So we'll select the top right and the bottom right. And we'll move those over to the left. So that is going to reveal the text. So at the moment, that is going to animate in. And now from here, we need to go ahead and we need to create the animation out. So we'll go another second to the right. We'll select the mask. And then you just want to go ahead and select the top left point and the bottom left point. And we're going to drag that all the way to the right. Of course, though, in my opinion, that animation was just a little bit too slow for my liking. So we're just going to zoom in on this keyframe window here. So we'll press the plus button and we'll decrease the gap between these keyframes. So we'll just shorten that gap. And if we play that back from the very beginning, that is a lot better. That's much quicker and that's really going to create a dynamic text effect. So you just want to scroll to that second keyframe. So around here, we'll go to title one select C on the keyboard to load up the razor tool, make a cut where the cursor is, press V to load up the normal cursor and delete the first part of that text. So if we play this back, the text has now transitioned on. Of course though, we need to transition out. So what we're going to do is we're just going to delete the last part of that yellow block. So select C, cut where the cursor is, delete that last part. And then you just want to go ahead and make a copy of that black video. So the yellow block. So command C. We'll move all the way over to the right. Command V. Put that on top of the title on video layer two. 
And then when that yellow block completely covers your text, you just want to select C on the keyboard, make a cut where the cursor is, press V, and we'll delete the last part of that text. Now, when we play this back, you'll notice we've got this really awesome text in and text out. That right there is the curtain text effect right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. I hope this video was helpful. I hope this helped you to learn something today. And if it did, then please do consider pressing that subscribe button. So thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video. See you there.